Hey guys, John Manor from YouGoProBaseball.com. I want to talk about throwing the four seam fastball today. Um, I got a pearl here for you guys. Uh, the four seam fastball. We just talked about the two seam fastball. Now here's the four seam fastball. Some guys throw it like this across. Why they call it the four seam fastball is because you're cross. When you throw it, the air is going to be going through four seams. One, two, three, four. So you got a lot of. Um, uh, rotation on the baseball and four seams are going through. That's why some guys tend to feel like they throw the four seam a little bit faster than their other pitches. Um, I mean, their other fastballs, like a two seam or something like that. Um, one, because it's got, for some guys, it has less movement and more uh, rotation with the seams through the air, so it, it travels faster. A lot of a lot of coaches will tell outfielders to throw like this because they, it really, it, it really flies through the air straight and fast. Um, so it's a good pitch if you're trying to, you know, hit a spot, hit, hit a certain spot, get ahead in the count, and, you know, really, you know, take it to take it to a batter if you're trying to go up and in or or hit that spot down and away. Um, you know, have throwing with the four, four seams on there gives you a lot more accuracy too, as opposed to a two seamer. You got more to grip on the baseball. Um, there's a couple ways you could throw this. Obviously, is you know being down here. With the fingertips off of the seams across here. I used to throw it like this. Um, I don't know. I just my fingertips never really liked the seams that much. I would always guys with, that get blisters a lot and stuff like that. You might want to keep those fingertips off of the seams. Um, you're not going to have as much pull down, but I mean, you know how those blisters are, man. If you get a pop, if one pops during the game and it's getting blood all over the place, they're going to have to take you out. So you don't want to do that. Um, the other way is to have the fingertips on the seams. Um, Obviously, you're going to get more grip from that. You're going to get the, more behind the baseball. Not necessarily velocity. Um, you know, if you're off the mound, you can lick your fingers like that. Rome. Um, that's what I used to do. Get a little dirt. So even if I'm off of the seams, I still got a good grip. But uh, obviously, if you're on the seams, you know you won't need as much of that because you're right behind. You're, you're you're right on top of them. Um, especially if you get a ball with some good seams. Um, the main thing to think about. When you're throwing the four seam fastball, is to pretty much just stay on, stay behind the baseball, fingers on top of the baseball. So, like I said before, with the two seam, some guys like to grip it harder, some guys like to put some space in there. Uh, it all depends on you. It's a, you know, all pitches are field pitches, but whatever feels good to you, it's gonna work. Um, like I said, stay behind the baseball, nice follow through, with the fingers on top, and when you release, really straight through the baseball. Any, any way that you tend to pronate or cut is going to make the ball do different things. If you're trying to throw a f straight four seam fastball, you want to go straight through the pitch. Straight through. As opposed to... Alright, good luck with the four seam fastball. If you guys are on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're on the website, thanks for checking out the website. Go to YouTube and subscribe. And check out the rest of the pitches. Thanks.